Good evening, everyone. Many called it another historic day in Minnesota. The state's second marijuana dispensary opened today, this one not far from the metro. WDAY News reporter Matt Henson looks into whether there's enough weed to keep smoking until more businesses open up. The gates are closed here for the night. Now, despite the fact it was a last minute decision to open today with the grand opening still about two weeks away, there was still a steady stream of visitors, including people from North Dakota, Wisconsin and Canada. I want to be more energized. This is more of your nighttime use. For some, it's purely for fun. You've been hiding it and getting in trouble for it for years and you know, now you, you can just do it. Others, such as Dustin Swenson, call it life-saving as he battles PTSD and MS. Without it, I am forced to have like seven pills where with this, I just need uh, a split for a joint and then I can eat and maintain my health. While most businesses won't be able to open until 2025 due to permitting, the recreational marijuana dispensaries on the White Earth Reservation and the one that opened on Red Lake earlier this week can operate now due to exemptions the governor gave to tribal lands. Having the highest integrity, we don't cut corners and we will not cut corners. We have to have it tested at the same exact levels as the other players in Minnesota. With only two dispensaries serving the entire state for at least the next year and a half, the concern will the supply burn out. The dispensary on White Earth grows its cannabis for three months and admits it may have to, quote, throttle back how much can be bought at once sometime in the future. We're trying to ramp up as fast as possible to supply as much good quality flour as possible. I want to get some of this hybrid. For now, though, there's plenty of weed to meet demand. I think it's huge. I think it, it's big. I mean, I'm 71 years old. I've been waiting for this since 1968. <laughs> it's great. Leaders here tell me they have not heard of any other plans to open recreational marijuana dispensaries on Minnesota's nine other reservations. Reporting from the White Earth Reservation, Matt Henson, WDAY News. It is still illegal for anyone to buy marijuana in Minnesota, then bring it back to North Dakota. The new law is creating some confusion. Police yesterday raided the Asema smoke shop in Minoman after they say the owner openly bragged about selling it. The smoke shop is located on tribal land, which has some personal business owners thinking it's okay. The tribe reiterated tonight only government entities of the tribe are allowed to dispense it. Some tribal members think that that, exep that exemption uh, applies to them as well, and it doesn't. The sheriff says charges are pending against the business owner. 